Now I'd like to request our first presenter, Professor Orun Maski, sir. His topic is simple procedure turning into unexpected complications. Professor Orun Maski, sir. Thank you, IPDI. Thank you, Professor Wadud Mohsin, all my teachers and colleagues. I'm not here to present a very fancy complex cases. I'll, I'll present some very interesting simple cases. I don't know how many of you have seen such a cases in your lifetime. This is a 62 years gentleman, came with the angina on exertions, TMT was positive. Angiogram is done. What you see here is the, the tip of the catheter has broken down. I don't know how many of you have seen. <laughs> this is a broken catheter here. Try to find this catheter. It's in the here. And the issue is always what to do with these patients. So don't, no, nothing to worry about. Finish your angiogram. Try to snare this patient. First try it with the left femoral axis. It's not helpful. Then go into next femoral axis. Stare it. And bring it out. We thought we'll do a simple radial procedure. One axis. The patient ended with three axis, two femoral axis. And this was a piece which was taken out. What ex exactly happens is this coronary catheters are flexible tubes. They have variable diameters and they have different polymer compounds like polyamide, polyurethane, and Teflon. Repeated use of these catheters and it use, they lead to changes in structures of catheters causing micro cracks, fissures cords, perforation, roughness of porosity in, porosity in internal and external layers leading to fractures. Second case is a 60 years old lady had a difficulty in doing radial axis, so we decided to do femoral axis. What you see here is, this is AL1 catheter, again there's a break in this catheter. Took the distal end out because it was attached. Now trying to snare this catheter, brought in to the near the seat. What again happens is, again this part breaks here. So second time is also it, the tip breaks. And try to see where that is. This is lying somewhere around here. So we're thinking what to do, whether to snare or not, and then took another picture, uh, then took that uh, remaining part out. And it's lying in the anti -tubial artery. There was no, no vascular compromise. Blood flow was normal. So we decided to leave this patient and the patient is doing fine. Sometimes it's very difficult to tell patients you have a catheter in your legs and it sometimes becomes a medical legal issues. These are two catheters, which was coronary catheters broken. This is another case, patient in ICU, central CVP line was there and when after third or fourth day when was trying to take it out, the catheter <coughs> breaks into subclavian and in the brachiocephalic veins. So try to snare it out. And it was not easy to take it out. Nearly struggled for one hour just to fix this catheter and took it out. And this was a catheter, yes. This is a 
central venous line. And this is another coronary case. This patient has uh, angina the exosins. We decided, we discussed with the patient, patient wanted to have a uh, uh, angioplasty. So we decided to do two stent strategies, simple tap stenting. Sorry, this, uh, some of the videos are not playing here. My aim is not to show the technique of uh, stenting. My aim is to show here the complications. Put a stent from uh, left main to circumflex. And did a tap stenting. What you can see here is, after finishing the case, you can see one extra structure is here. The distal wire has fractured. Then try to snare that part, but it was not coming out. So the risk was, because this was the old wire, if you try to snare it out, the wire might fragment like uh, previous catheters, so it might go distally. So what, was the, what uh, we decided was to put another stain. This was a fractured wire here put another stent, plaster it here. Sorry, these uh, pictures are not playing, I'm sorry for this. And this is uh, after a stenting. My aim is not to show here the technique, so I'm just trying to show that this is a stent, this is a fractured Y here. And this patient was discharged, and we informed the patient that you have a Y, if you have any chest pain or anything, just come to hospital because the uh, risk of thrombosis is very high. This patient was doing fine. Nine months later, he came with angina on exertion class two. So he decided to do an angiogram. What you can see is the, the fractured wire part is patent here, nothing here, but the osteal circumflex is tight. And there's some lesion in osteum of the LAD, but this wire is intact. So he already has three stents. It's not asking for any more stents, so we decided him to refer for surgery. So these are the pictures here. So the fractures wires are plastered in the stents. There are one stent and it's the second stent plastered that wire. These are different pictures. So what happens to the cordial wire? The reason for fracture is either they are entrapped into or behind the stent struts. Maybe they were cutting off these wires by an arthritomy device. Sometimes they are struck in tortuous or calcified vessels or structural failure of the wires because we tend to reuse wires. So this is one picture. This is second and one broken here, second broken here, the CVP line and this is uh, Y here. So Take home message is reuse of catheters, guide wires, though not recommended, but in a developing country like us, because of cost factors, we have to reuse wires. And my recommendation is do not re uh, reuse the coronary wires because they are cheaper. If you have to use the diagnostic or guiding wires, use maximum two times. And once you use that wires, if you send for ETO, mark there in the markings, one time, two times. And before you use the wire, try to see if these are old wires. Anything which you use more than three, three or more times, then you'll get these problems. So guide wire, guide catheter breakage is rare but not uncommon. Thank you.